hi everyone welcome back to the fourth video tutorial of ext.js in previous video we just walked through over the file structure and the data flow of the ext.js and in this video we are going to learn about how we can use the view and uh, single view and multiple views and how we can include the one view inside the another view so this video all about the view concept in the ext.js all right so now let's get started so this is the app.js file and here is the main view is uh, main which is uh, placed inside the view.main folder all right so i'm just going to make one more view with the name of let's say extra so you can consider it as an extra view you can see that all right so just write here some code so let's say just I uh, use the uh, ext dot define to define the um, namespace and name. So here you can write the YouTube, which is the application name, dot folder name, which is the view, dot main, this is the uh, subdirectory, and extra, which is the file name. And uh, in the second parameter, which is a kind of object so you can write the properties like i'm just going to extend and extend the ext dot container dot container all right and uh, after that i can use the x type x type let's say extra which is the same as a name you can put the different if you want and after that I'm just going to use the items and items are an array uh, so usually I for a moment I'm just going to use the one item only so let's say title is extra view or whatever you want um, and you can just write some HTML here if you want so let's say DOM will be here nice so just try to refresh it it's alright so it's gone it's actually I have to change it with the extra and let's see what's going on mm, I think there is an error so let's check what is that error mm, so maybe there is some issue with the container so just use the tab for for a moment and panel all right and let's see Is it working yes now it's working so let's check with that uh, yeah uh, I think that time there was some loading issue I think the file was not properly load all right so is it uh, it's working fine so let's try to change some text here and it's working properly fine here also okay so now uh, let's try to include this uh, extra view in some other views also so let's say this is my main view just come back here and put it main back and now I want to use my pre uh, extra view uh, with the with this list or somewhere else all right so I just copy the path here I don't need to copy the path because X type will help me for that so it is I put the extra here mm, just open the list and uh, alright so just go to directly in the main and here I can put simply with the name of main list because this is the main list the type of list so I can replace this and let's see what's going on alright so you can really see that it's coming here so we can reuse this this also so let's say I just put it here 
the two tab so when I just opened the user uh, okay so it's not showing in the user so let me check what's the issue about that because uh, okay so for that I cannot use that bind so I just have to use the x type extra all right so just try to refresh it and in the user this is the same and the both are same uh, the user and here so if I just I can replace it the back one this is the lorium lists all right so just comment it out so this is uh, about the view how you can use the view and all the types so you can put the many properties here so the properties will uh, come across in the next video so like for example uh, you can use the responsive configurations and tab bar and uh, default configurations and all so they will be covered in the next video but in this video i hope you understand that how we can use the view in the mvc pattern and all so let's con uh, cover the one more thing here so i just going to add here um here you can see that here i just bind the um view model also here so i'm just going to write here extra and in the extra uh, i can just bind my directly view model and for the sale time i can directly take some just open the list uh, I'm just looking for some type so that I can save the time okay so I just put here and uh, inside the uh, item I can just put directly that one and uh, my main view is loaded here and the main view the loading lipsum is here so I can see that also so let's see okay this is also working here okay so this is coming from the model i just told you in the next in the last video uh, for if you want to check that you can direct directly here so uh, you can use a name property also if you want so let's say just i've used the name then you can just see that property also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video uh, in the next video we will learn about the uh, more things like the stores models controllers and how we can call the apis header footer viewport so don't forget to watch our previous video uh, next video also so thanks for watching this video